Hovitec. Just a button away. In this video tutorial, I'm going to be showing how to resize partitions on an Android device using Pathet Tool. Now, Pathet Tool is a command line tool. Now I've connected my device and it's currently connected in TWRP recovery. Now before we begin, because I'm going to be resizing, I want to resize my system partition and reduce the size from 3 gig to 2 gig. Take the extra 1 gig and add it into user data partition to increase my internal storage. Now. I've made my TWRP backup and saved it on my PC. Now this is my parted tool right here. Saved on my PC as well. So I'm going to quickly open a command prompt and type ADB devices. So my device is detected Another thing you need to note is that my device is also detected in MTP storage so I can transfer files while in recovery mode. So let me quickly begin. We will need to transfer these two files into the phone. We will do this by changing directory cd enter now i'm in this folder so adb push parted which is the name of the file i want to copy to sb folder enter successful i'll repeat the same thing for the second file Now I will open shell, ADB shell. I'm going to give permission to the files I just copied into SBIN folder. Once that is done, we will launch Pathet by typing Pathet dev block mmc block zero. Now this is the internal storage for the internal store the mount point for internal storage and Android devices. Enter. Now Pathet will give me a welcome message. Welcome to Pathet. Type help to view a list of commands. You can just type help if you need to view the list of commands you can run on Pathet too. So now I'm going to do print. This will show me a list of all the partitions on my currently on my phone now. Their start address and the end address, the sizes, the file systems. So now, since I want to reduce the size of system, which is here, you can see the size says 3 gig. Basically, this is 3 gig and it's at 17. I need to delete all the partitions up until I get to system. So to do this, the command in Pathet is RUM, remove, so remove 21 first. Am I sure I want to continue? Yes. Okay, cancel. 
So now we actually need to do something in TWR rupee before we begin. And that is go to mount on tick system on tick data and on tick catch. So we will go to TWR rupee mount and on tick every item listed there. Now we can now return back to parted. Let's try removing again. Remove 21. Hold on, that is strange. Okay, so it has actually removed 21 for us. And so we remove 20. Okay. Before we be before we move further, let me quickly highlight these items. We need, <coughs> we need to store this item somewhere so that we can use it while calculating the new values. I'm going to quickly paste them in Notepad plus plus. Now let's proceed. Remove 20, remove 19, remove 18, remove 17, 17. So let me quickly go to print again. Uh, so here we've seen that there's no extra partitions outside this one so now it's time to create new partition the command for creating new partition is mk parts system name is sorry partition name is system the file system is xt4 now the start address will be the end address for this one which is 43 then the end address since we want 2 gig what we need to do now is simple this is 1 gig hold on so this is the size of 3 gig all we need to do now is open a calculator Three, one, four, four seven, divided by three will give us so this is the size for one gig. We want to make it two gig. So this is the new size we want. But to get the end address, end address will be the same thing as this plus the start address which is 43 so i hope you understand that to get end address we will add two these two gig to this start address so plus 43 equals to 2141 so here we'll type 2141 and then press enter enter now we are going to name this partition it will be 17 already so we will name 17 system which is the partition we just deleted the last partition we deleted and so press enter now set the flag back to what it was so set 17 msft data on now let's quickly type print again to show us what we've done 
and so you can see here now that system partition starts where boot stopped ends here and the size is 2 gig file system is 64 so basically we've created system partition now all we need to do is repeat the same commands for all the other partitions while making necessary calculations so catch is the next partition we will go to mk part catch now catch also has xt4 so xt4 the start address will be the end address for system 2141 now the size for catch is 157 so all we just need to do is add 157 to the start address plus 157 2298 so end address is 2298 enter so we we'll name a team a team to cash we we'll set a team to msft data on and if we print here we go this is catch so next is recovery so mk path recovery now recovery has no file system so we are going to press an empty space as the name and press an empty space again so there are three empty spaces here then so the first empty space then the empty space for the name then an extra empty space so three empty spaces then the start address will be 2298 which is the end address for catch add 14.7 plus 14. Point. Okay, hold on. This calculator is currently. Let me make it a standard calculator. So 2298 plus. 14.7 so I'm just going to approximate this to 2313 so 23 two, 2313 two, so we name 19 to recovery Set 19 to msft data let's type on and enter now when we print we have recovery no file system so we make partition for the next which is miscellaneous also miscellaneous does not have any file system so three spaces as three spaces then start address two three one three miscellaneous is one mb so just add one mb is two three one four two three one four because one thousand 
plus kb is 1 mb and so enter now name 20 to be miscellaneous set 20 mf msft data on now print that is miscellaneous for you now the last partition is user data user data mk parts user data xt4 you can see it here 64 so the start address will be 2314 the end address will be the size of the dix itself so that it will use up all the free space it can get so which is 7650 this is it here this is the full dix length so the end address will be the end enter so name 21 to user data lastly set 21 msft data on and when we print again now we have here internal storage which is user data 5 gig plus but initially we had 4 gig plus so what you realize now is that the system currently has no operating system no recovery mode and no user data so once i reboot from the current twrp recovery i'm going to get stuck on boot logo so we are already done with partitioning the device all we need to do now is flash something into this i into back into this partitions but before we do that we will quickly exit parted to to exit parted to we will type quit So this has taken us back to shell. It will tell you that you need to update etc f -stab. Just ignore this for now. Now we need to format user data before we proceed. So to format user data, we are going to use the second file we copied. What was the name of the file again? MKFS. Okay. So now we'll type mkfs. Now user data partition is 21. So what we'll do now is dev block mmc block 0 p21. Then hit enter. So it's currently formatting user data. Okay, so it's all done now. We can now close this to close this. Well, we don't need this as well. What we need now? Oh yes. Now what we need now? Is to go to TWRP mount mount catch okay 
Hold on. So you can see there's no internal storage. So all we need to do now is go to TWRP, go to wipe, advanced wipe, wipe, catch, data, and system. Then swipe to wipe. Hold on. So we are going to do repair stroke change file system. We will do for data first. Repair so change file system change file system to XT4 and swipe. So it's done formatting that it's done formatting data to XT4. back back now we'll do the same thing for system change file system xt4 swipe back back we'll do the same thing for catch change file system to xt4 Now once this is done, we'll go back to TWRP mount and you will see that all three items can now be mounted. Now all we need to do is that when you come over here, you can see the internal storage is now available. So I'm simply going to copy my TWRP backup into the internal storage. My TWRP backup contains the exact same partitions that we just wiped and made again. It is catch, user data, miscellaneous, recovery, and system.
okay so copying is complete i can now disconnect the phone now all i'll just need to do is restore backup click on the backup select all the partitions i need to backup then swipe to restore So basically, this is how you back. This is how you resize partitions on an Android device using Parted to Ensure to subscribe for more video tutorials.